We are the mukbang rebels. We're eating for a cause to keep our portion small. We're going to stay in charge of our health and our wealth. We're going to set the trend to always eat healthy until the very end. Hey, hey, we are the mukbang rebels. We're eating for a cause. We like our portion small. We're going to stay in charge of our health and our wealth. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, everyone, and welcome to Savvy TV. Thanks for tuning in to today, today's episode uh, on the Savvy Maggie channel. Thanks for everyone who's coming via the Mukbang Rebels. It is another episode of our, or another edition for um, our Mukbang Rebels. And you guys know we are a group of content creators who have come, to, we come together every Saturday and we um, enjoy a meal. And today's meal is shrimp and vegetables. So I just have shrimp and broccoli over rice. Um, this is regular rice. It's regular um, long grain white rice. It is not um, cauliflower rice, which if I had made this homemade, I would have made cauliflower rice. But I actually stopped at the my little local Chinese spot and I got shrimp and broccoli um, and rice. So this is actually um, a half a one cup of rice. It's a whole cup of rice and a cup of broccoli and shrimp that's it so it's two cups total this is a small plate um, I'm only going to eat probably half of this so which I'll be eating a cup total okay of uh, food because I'm just going to eat half of this I'm not even going to eat this whole portion which this is actually one portion if you wanted to um, eat that it's actually just one portion but I'm only going to eat half of it doesn't that look good though I've actually been craving this so this is perfect for today's meal hi everyone again i want to say welcome 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 i haven't seen you guys in a couple of days um I, when i last talked to you guys i let you know that um i have finally gotten my tooth pulled i'm so happy that thing is out of my mouth y'all lord have mercy but i'm not gonna wait all day i'm ready to eat i'm hungry oh i guess i should Man, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying with my chopsticks, y'all. Little piece of broccoli. I'll give you guys the first bite. Y'all know I don't normally give you a bite. I don't know. I, that just kind of grosses me out sometimes. I'm not going to tell a lie. When people do that, I just rather see the person eat. Just telling you the truth. And like I say, hey, stop by. I'll make you a plate. Okay. We're going to try with these chopsticks, y'all. I might be putting them down. Y'all know I give up fast. It's crazy because when I'm not on camera, you guys, I can use my chopsticks. So it's, it's just, I don't get it. It's something about turning on the camera and I can't use my chopsticks. Y'all know I can use chopsticks. I cut hair all day. I can definitely use a chopstick. It's something about <laughs> the pressure of the camera. What is it? Mm. Mm. Excuse me, you guys. That's good, though. I wonder what everyone else has. I know a few folks are probably going to get fancy with it. Like, Fifi is probably going to get fancy with the honey. That girl's cooking all day, every day. And guess what? Time off for those chopsticks. Just that fast. Y'all know I give up on those chopsticks fast. Excuse me if you see that light going in and out. One of my lights... I think the bulb may be about to go, which I need to just go ahead and order some uh, order a bulb for it now because it must be about to go out. So I'm still chewing on one side though because I'm still healing, of course. It's only been a couple of days, but I'm doing great. And I'm happy about that because This little minor oral surgery was kind of a test for me to have um, a few other things done to see how my body would respond since I've been on these blood thinners and how I would do without being on the blood thinner for a few days. And you guys know because of the little insurance thing, I had to go a little bit longer. But thank God it is done and I am back to normal, almost. So, I had planned on 
I just got a regular paper napkin today, guys. No linen. And to drink, I'm just drinking some high quality H2O. So, I planned on making this myself. But it got late. I just stopped and grabbed it. I wanted to have broccoli because it's a vegetable I can have. It's a green that I can have. I wanted to have broccoli, snow peas, sweet peppers, all that good stuff in here. But, oh well. Maybe I'll make that for dinner tomorrow. I've actually got to get in this kitchen. I've got to make some string beans and white potatoes for a potluck that we're having at the shop tomorrow. So, I need to make string beans and white potatoes for that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm making a mess. I'm telling you guys. I don't know if I've ever eaten a meal without spilling something right at the top of my blouse. It never fails. I don't know why. It's like I have a hole in my mouth. And nobody make a, a joke about my gap, okay? Nobody. <laughs> I happen to love my gap, you guys. And a lot of people who have a gap in their teeth love their gap. It's a part of our personality, so we love them. That's the first thing someone will say, too. Like, if you if you get mad at someone or, like, you have, have an argument with someone, that's the first thing they'll say. It's like, what's your gap to? So, so, like, it's offensive. It's like, um, duh. If I didn't want to have my gap, I would have gotten rid of it by now. <laughs> so, I told you guys I was thinking about, you. if you've been with me for a while, you know I was thinking about braces. So, I've decided on clear liner, clear aligners. But, you know, I'm really just trying to take my gap back to its original size. I don't want to close it up completely. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I might be going over half the, um, half of this. I might be going ahead and eating the whole two cups, which is not bad. I don't know the uh, caloric count for this. I don't really count calories. So I'm actually going to start a little detox tomorrow. Because I need to do a detox, you guys. I've been on antibiotics and all that good stuff. So I just like to do a detox and get all that stuff out of my system. So what have you guys been up to? What have you been doing? Leave me some comments down below and let me know how your week has been. How has your January been? January 2020. January is always the longest dark on month of the year. February is a super short month, but January makes up for February, y'all. January is always so doggone long. I'm like, it's still January? It's still January. Wow. January is always such a long month. But I'm telling you, it might be a blessing because, you know, the new year comes in. We make all these resolutions. I don't do that anymore, but we tend to make all these little, little, little resolutions and what we're going to do this year and what we're letting go of. And you look up and it's the third, second or third week in January and you haven't done one thing you said you were going to do. So I think it's a blessing that January is always so long. You always get another chance, another chance, another chance to do it over to start. You know, I haven't even done my vision boards for the year. I have done my my bullet uh, planners, my bullet journals, but I haven't done a vision board. I need to. I've done my vision board on my phone because my screensaver on my phone is my vision board. So I do that. But um, and you guys know if you have Pinterest, Pinterest is just like a huge vision board. 
but my screensaver on my phone, my wallpaper for my lock screen and my wallpaper are my vision boards. But I need to do one that I can look at every day. Okay, so you guys, there's that light again. It went out. I haven't talked to you guys in a couple of days. And then when I did talk to you, it was just for a few minutes. So you got, I've told you all before that I don't really watch the news, right? I haven't been watching the news, like just the day-to-day -day local news. I watch like CNN and all that stuff, government stuff, but I don't watch like the local news. I do look at a news app on my phone every once in a while, but I don't really watch the local news anymore because I used to be obsessed with like, um, true crime and my favorite show was criminal minds. Like I love criminal minds and I will watch every episode over and over and over again. And, um, I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist. So I always like watch, um, like FBI files and things like that. And I like investigate. It's crazy. I know, but it's something I've always done since I was really young. I used to really be into forensics. So, um, and you know, before I became a hairstylist, I was studying, you know, social work and psychology. So I always was just into the human mind and everything. So anyway, I haven't been watching the news. I needed a break from the news because I will be obsessed with certain cases. Anyway, my sister just told me, asked me today, had I was I aware of a case that was going on in Michigan that I knew nothing about? So there's this guy. Have you guys heard about this? There's this guy who was meeting other guys on Grindr which is like a tender, like a gay, a tender for like homosexual folks, L LGBT. So, um, I'm like, is it L LGBTQ, right? I don't know. Anyway. So anyway, Grindr is the app. And he was meeting guys on Grindr and I guess taking them home and they're thinking they're about to be into some like BDS and M stuff. And they, he, killed a guy, he killed this young man, stabbed him in the back, cut his throat, and ate a part of his anatomy. So there's a cannibal living in Michigan. Disgusting, you guys. I was like, are you serious? I had not heard one thing about this. So now I'm about to be all over another case, okay? I'm still looking at a case from two. I just stopped watching footage and information about a case from like a couple of years ago where the young lady was killed in the freezer. So I was obsessed with that. I mean, watched everything about that for a long time. I had to like really get out of that. Okay. So that light, I have to order one. I have to order one because that's what gives me the light. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. So two other young men got away. They, of course, didn't want to press charges. Of course, you know, one man um, was running through the woods, escaped, running through the woods. I really still have to, my sister didn't show me that story. She has to find that one for me. He was running through the woods and called 911. So I want to hear the 911 tape because I still haven't heard the 911 tape. But he called, he was supposed to be from New York. Um, he'd met this guy on Grinder, and, you know, I guess it was supposed to be a hookup. He said he was trying to meet him for something else, but whatever. And um, so he had to escape, and he was in the woods, you guys, and did not know where he was. They took him, took them over, like, a couple of hours to find him, but he got away. Another young man escaped. Now, I don't know what this man is doing, like my sister said, to what he's doing, if he's leaving for a while or going to sleep or whatever, but... They're able to escape, which is a good thing. The young man who was killed, unfortunately, was not able to escape. But these young men were able to escape. So this other young man met him. Oh, no. The guy from New York met him at a bar. So he just woke up tied up. So I guess the guy drugged him, the cannibal, drugged him and took him home. So the other guy met him on Grinder, And... um. He escaped and ran to a neighbor's house. The neighbor opens the door and, you know, he just like rushed in 
you know, saying he needed help. He has like purple hair and he has on a leather kilt and straps across the top of him. So, um, he got away. He didn't want to press charges or anything either. But then this other young man who, um, Kevin Bacon, uh, is deceased and he, um, met him on Grinder as well and told his family and friends that he was going, you know, he was going on a date or whatever. He told his friends this, um, he texted his friends and let him know he probably wouldn't be home because he was having a good time. It was like Christmas Eve or something or a couple of days before Christmas. So he told them that he was having a really good time and he might be out all night. So when he didn't come home for Christmas morning for breakfast on Christmas morning, his parents were, um, you know, really suspicious and thinking something was wrong and they called the police and, um, come to find out they traced everything back to the gentleman's, the guy, the killer's house and, um, went in and he admitted that he had killed him. He stabbed him in the back and, um, upon further investigation, they realized that he had, the man's anatomy had been bitten off and, um, he admitted to eating it. So, the crazy part about it, like my sister and I were saying, I wonder how much they're going to find at this man's house. Because, I mean, if you're biting off a person's hoo-ha, I don't think that's your first time doing that. You know, that's something you usually work your way up to. I'm like, wow, that reminds me so much of Jeffrey Dahmer, though. I wonder how many people he's gotten away with killing. I'm sure that I really don't think that this was his first killing, you know. It's just really crazy. I hope it was. I hope he hasn't, you know, doesn't have like a ton of bodies around his property, but you never know. And that's, that's just so crazy. And that's the thing about those little towns because people always say, oh, you wouldn't think that would happen here. You know, when crazy things happen anywhere, everywhere. And more so in little towns than they do in the big city. So that was crazy. If you've heard about that, you know, leave me a comment down below and let me know. But yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, okay, I think I'm over my um, news hiatus. I think it's time to get back to watching the daily news. It's, it's too much going on out here in this world. You got to stay on top of it. But, yeah. God rest his soul. And, you know, my condolences to his family. It's so sad to be killed in a brutal way. And then for his family, because his family were on the interview, were like, you know, yeah, he was into some dark things. And it's like, it's so sad to even be looked at like that in your death or to have people, because you have an alternative lifestyle, you know, look at it like that. Oh, he was into some deep, dark things. It's just so sad. When he was a young man who was studying psychology. And then that made me think, like, was he into, into that or was he even doing research? You know, it's just so crazy. It's just sad. And you know, people just take other people's lives like that. Yep. But, okay, that's it. I am done. I am full. I'm not over full. I'm not stuffed. I can still get up and do the other things that I need to do. I ate a healthy portion. Like I said, that was two cups of food. It was two cups of the broccoli and, and shrimp. And it was a cup of the rice. So I have at least a half a cup or I would say probably about a fourth of a cup left. And I'm nice and full. And that's it. I can't wait to see what the other ladies have for us today. So when you're done watching this video, make sure you click the check the description box down below and go ahead and follow each person's link to their channel. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Savvy TV. Hey, yeah. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see. Let me see. We are the move by rebels. We're eating for a cause. We keep our portions small. We're going to stay in charge of our health, of our health and our wealth. We're going to, we're going to set the trend to always eat healthy until the very end. Hey, 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 hey. What? What is Savvy TV? 
Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, I love you guys for real, always, and forever. Don't forget, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please do so at this time. Hit that little button down below where it says subscribe and hit that bell right next to it. Press all so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be.